are we locking so many people up? Why are we spending so much money on jails and incarceration? How can we do it better? How can we save money? How can we have better outcomes for our citizens and improve the, the entire system? The Whatcom County Council created the task force because we were in the midst of a large and wide-ranging debate about a new jail complex that was going to be very expensive to build and to operate and it became clear to us that there were a lot of voices in the community that weren't incorporated into the discussion. The council in its wisdom realized let's bring together a diverse set of stakeholders and assign them this task. Let's figure out how we can improve our criminal justice system, get better results for our money, and be part of the, the national trend of criminal justice reform. We wanted to improve the ability of folks suffering from addiction to have a, a, a place to go, as well as people in short-term mental health crisis, a place to go. That was one of the main goals of the task force. So I'm pleased to announce that we will be breaking ground on a $12 million facility that's fully funded that'll have 16 beds for uh, substance abuse, 16 beds for mental health respite, which is a huge improvement on the previous resources. When we incarcerate people, it has devastating consequences on their lives. It often takes them months, years, or longer to recover. So I, I feel like the, the greatest peace that it brings the community is the lack of chaos and trauma that naturally happens by avoiding uh, locking people up unless that's absolutely what needs to happen. They want meaningful work, they want safe schools and safe streets and a place where their kids can grow up and play. The task force is helping people achieve that vision of making Whatcom County more livable, more prosperous, more peaceful, and uh, I think we all share that vision.